Okay, shall we start? Yes, ma'am. Prema, ma'am, is there? Prema, ma'am. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, ma'am, some sir, should not attend any class. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Just have a little bit of okay. Ah, okay. I am a teacher. I am a student. You will sit no problem. Ah, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. सोशल सैकोजी रुपए जनवरी डेस्ट Okay, so shall we start? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. So today it is about the uh, assessment of personality. Actually, I had given you an introduction regarding the assessment, various techniques uh, which we use to assess the uh, personality and all. Uh, but in the last uh, module, I mean, and the block uh, unit, uh, last unit, I think, uh, detailed description rega regarding or various techniques which we have to use in the assessment of personality yes, is given. So I, I think I have to uh, take it in uh, detail. okay uh, so when we talk about the assessment of personality uh, so whatever be the assessment uh, means uh, in the psychological assessment uh, if we have to study the individual's behavior then uh, emotion uh, personality or whatever be the capability i mean at the intellectual level all those things we have to adopt certain techniques so these techniques include mainly the psychological testing so if we want to suppose if we want to study the personality of an individual definitely we have to rely on certain psychological testing so we know that uh, in psychology there are different methods to study personality so uh, that uh, if we want to study about the personality that means we are doing certain assessment in this particular field so what is psychological assessment hmm? suppose a personality allengil emotion where endengil capabilities padikkanundengil what i mentioned is that we have to depend on certain psychological techniques are ah, psychological techniques we use in that we call as the assessment psychological assessment in the bare hmm? apo in psychology there are different methods to study personality and we are using these tests to study the personality apo ee personality study cheyanengil ee various tests ne namukku depend cheyanam hmm? apo adinana nammal ee assessment in the bare so what is called the assessment so psychological assessment it is a process of testing नाम टेस्ट कंडक्ट पेसनलिटी और पर्टिकुलास्पेक्ट नम पढ़ी वि हाव टू 
<coughs> do certain assessment or it we can say that it is a process of testing but psychological assessment in the varnina it is a process of testing and through this process we are uh, introducing or we are administering some test that means the clinician is able to arrive at a conclusion regarding the individual's personality by doing certain test manasilayo then we have a personality in a particular aspect of the personality. Through test, our test we say that it is the assessment. So assessment simply means it is the psychological testing. And in psychology, the clinicians want to, we know that they usually want to measure the emotions, personality, intelligence, then career interest, attitude, memory this or for all these things but i'm like career interest it has this particular test and career interest in that arena we have to dip as a clinician or as a psychologist we can use a particular test based on that career interest uh mute you by great disturbance where in under okay then if we want to study the memory again there are specific tests for memory so we have to depend on that particular test particular test we have to depend on so we can say that we are making some assessment on that particular test so assessment means it is a psychological testing up a psychology psychology related identity test to number you see and we can say that we are making some assessment in that particular area then so before going to this assessment techniques I would like to give you a small introduction regarding the research what is research what do you mean by research that is also there in your syllabus. Research means uh, it is a systematic investigation. If you want to uh, uh, study or uh, if you want to do some research in a particular area, we have to go through systematic investigation. We are doing some investigation. And the important thing is that it has to go in this. We have to do that particular investigation in a systematic way. So uh, we can say that research means it is the detailed study of a subject. With a particular with a subject, if suppose we are studying the personality, we are studying the uh, personality that particular aspect in a detailed way. Why we are doing it in a detailed way? Because uh, we have to find out uh, the new information. To get the new information, we are studying a particular aspect in a detailed way. So we can say that the research helps to get answer to things that are unknown. We are not aware of the uh, of a particular thing and we are trying to find out new facts or we want to uh, find out the new information regarding that particular area for that we are doing research so research helps to get answers to things that are unknown upon them carry later card it in a course to them okay information kit and when it turned on them like him research in other and it it to me not important at all like I didn't know systematic at it is a systematic investigation so we can say that the research means it is a systematic investigation and when we talk about the research um, it is a defy it is a defined as the careful consideration of study uh, the, this uh, definition, if you want, you can write down. Research is defined because there is it is not included in the slide. Research is defined. Are you writing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Research, it is yes, first, first point is that research, it is a systematic investigation. That term systematic, that is very important because when we do the research, we have to go in an orderly manner. Mm, that is very important. So the definition you can write down. Research is defined. Research is defined as a as a careful consideration as a careful consideration of study of study regarding regarding 
a particular concern regarding a particular concern or a problem or a problem using a using a <coughs> scientific method <coughs> using a scientific method here the scientific method that is also very important because we consider psychology it is considered as a science subject and every time when we if you want to uh, do any research we have to depend on scientific method so scientific um, method that is very important then uh, so that is research so in short research means it is a systematic investigation then what is a research design the next heading please write down research design what is research design? Hmm? What is research design? Or if, suppose we are going to do a weed, what do we do first? We are going to do a weed, what do we do first? We have to plot a plan. Yeah, we have to plot a plan for it. Similarly, when we do the research also, we have to make an outline or we have to do a framework regarding how we are going to conduct the research. So that we call as the research design. Means uh, we have to uh, um, um, find out certain strategies or uh, we, we should know that what all methods we have to adopt while conducting the research. So that process we call as the research design. So when we conduct a research, the research design, that is very important. So uh, write down research design refers, research design refers to, research design refers to overall strategy, to overall strategy or method or method or procedure or procedure which we use which we use while which we use while conducting a research which we use while conducting a research so research design means it is a it is an outline for hmm? research conduct a framework we can say that it is an outline how we are planning to conduct the research that process or uh, what is the what are procedures we are using to conduct uh, this research that we call as the research design so the research design uh, that is very important that is very important uh, while conducting the research then there are different types of research descriptive research correlation method then experimental uh, method different types of research designs are the in psychology we usually use uh, the experimental method and this it is considered as the most reliable method mm? because it is its own valid validity as well as uh, reliability will be the when we conduct the uh, conduct the ex uh, conduct the, or when we adopt the experimental method mm? uh, so that i'm not going in detail then the next uh, thing is uh, suppose if you're doing a research uh, definitely we have to follow certain methods mm? because uh, i mentioned that uh, research means it is a systematic investigation so when we are conducting the research uh, we have to follow certain um, uh, certain methods uh, methods in the sense certain steps we have to follow so what will be the first step Suppose, uh, just imagine that you are planning to conduct a research on a particular area, suppose uh, uh, regarding the personality. Mm? Uh, so, what will be the first step? Identify the Selection of sample. Yes, very good. That defining is the first, the yes, defining or identifying the problem. So, first uh, first step is defining or identifying the problem. Problem no desh ke na the a the area larna naamal research conducti yam ponna tha. Adine kuchite naamka first to do dharane direktna. That is the first step. Then uh, after that uh, you have to uh, develop a research plan. 
ഇപ്പം ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു റിസർച്ച് ഡിസൈൻ എന്താന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രൊസീജർ വി റിസർച്ച് ഡിസൈൻ മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഓവറോൾ സ്ട്രാറ്റജി ഓർ ദ പ്രൊസീജർ വിച്ച് വി യൂസ് വൈൽ കണ്ടക്ടിംഗ് എ റിസർച്ച് സോ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഇസ് ടു വി ഹാവ് ടു ഫോർമുലേറ്റ് എ റിസർച്ച് ഡിസൈൻ ഹൗ വി ആർ പ്ലാനിംഗ് ടു കണ്ടക്ട് ദ റിസർച്ച് അപ്പൊ അതിനകത്ത് എന്തൊക്കെ ആയിരിക്കാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഈ റിസർച്ച് ഡിസൈനിലെ എന്തൊക്കെ കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് നമ്മൾ നോട്ട് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് what are the things which we have to uh, consider while uh, developing a research plan hmm? method of research to be uh, in which area angane illa parnada it's not clear uh, in which area you are planning to conduct the research that means a uh, uh, sample or uh, sample endana nariyana at the same time our sample da endana what you are going to measure or what you what you want to find out that is very important uh, then how many samples hmm etra sample ningal ningalku sample inde kai ninnu data collect cheyanam then mode of data collection all those things you have to um, uh, not or you have to be very clear when you do the research uh, research appo ee uh, that process we call as the research design but research design le how you are going to conduct the research sample then sample size how the what is the mode of uh, uh, data collection which questionnaire you have to use and finally uh, after getting all the result how you are going to uh, analyze the result all those things you have to uh, note down when you do the research design appa research design le ee karyangal ella undavanam so that the second step that is over so first step is identify and define the problem then second step is develop a research plan and the third step is that is usually collection of data or data collection that is the very important step appa nammala research design le thanne nammala evide nanna data collect cheyandathu ee type of sample inaana etra adu oru nin oru type le appa male female undengi male etra collect cheyanam female etra collect cheyanam എല്ലാം നമ്മൾ നോട്ട് ചെയ്തു റിസർച്ച് ഡിസൈൻ വി നോ ഇറ്റ് ഹൗ ടു കളക്ട് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു കളക്ട് ദ ഡേറ്റ ആൻഡ് വൺസ് ദ ഡേറ്റ കളക്ഷൻ ഇസ് ഓവർ വട്ട് ഇസ് വട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് നമുക്ക് വെരി ഗുഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡേറ്റ അനാലിസിസ് സോ വൺസ് ദ കളക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡേറ്റ ഇസ് ഓവർ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഇസ് ദ ഡേറ്റ അനാലിസിസ് so our kitty data we have to analyze it then only we will be able to come to a conclusion so once the uh, data analysis is over that means you got the result you have the result with you mm? if a, 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 um, a male female endengil ipa depression for example depression nokkanundengil uh, how many uh, of uh, the from the particular sample how many are affected by depression you got the result so the result is uh, with uh, is there with you so once the result is the the next step is to interpret the research find uh, research findings that means the interpretation that is a very important thing in uh, uh, in the research in the in the research so uh, in, uh, we have to interpret the research findings that is the next step and the last step is that we are coming to a conclusion we have to conclude what all things we have we have found out from the from your research and after that you have to take some action if a or a group of people they are found to be depressed after which you are not supposed to stop the research you have to intervene you have to uh, do some uh, action or you have to take action and finally nammal ipo or particular group in depressed aanu kandu kanyinjal avarku nammal endengilor intervention kodukanam alle inna mathram aanu adu nammalde research successful aavullu so we are not supposed to stop uh, after uh, the after coming to the step that is interpretation and research findings and so just stop him but la we have to take some action sometimes we have to use uh, certain psychotherapeutic techniques some uh, we have to do give some intervention techniques counseling is needed angane pala techniques und that we have to do then only the research will be over so when we talk about the research steps first is identify and define the problem then uh, second is to develop a research plan third is collection data collection or collect the data then next is a data analysis then uh, next after that uh, interpretation interpret the research findings and finally you have to take action so this is a scientific approach and uh, usually this method is used in uh, almost all the science subject in any science subject nokkay kanyalum we are going through this 
uh, through these steps okay uh, so we in psychology also we uh, use this type of uh, this method or we can say that these are the research steps which we use then <clears throat> when we talk about the assessment personality assessment um, there are uh, I suppose if you if you want to uh, assess the personality hmm? um, then uh, what all uh, techniques you can adopt either techniques in the adopt TM yes techniques. definitely projective techniques you can adopt then Projective technique is the interview, interview method. Interview. Yes. Observation. Very good. Observation. Then questionnaire method. So these are the uh, techniques which uh, you can adopt. Just in the class, I have to say that last time I have to say that 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 I have uh, so f there are different uh, techniques you can uh, use to uh, assess the personality. First is questionnaire, then second is uh, self-report method. Uh, that is also there in your syllabus. Then uh, interview method, uh, then interview method, then observational method, uh, then case study. That is uh, case study is very important. Case study method. Uh, after that uh, experimental or uh, scientific method these are the main techniques which we uh, use then correlation method is there okay so main so first uh, we will uh, deal with the uh, questionnaire method so what do you mean by a questionnaire questionnaire and then what is questionnaire and then Questioner means that we consider the questioner as a research instrument. It is a research instrument. So questioner, we know that it consists of a series of questions. Hmm? Questions in the series will be there. And what is the main purpose of putting these series of questions in a paper on a paper? To gather information from response. So main, uh, main uh, purpose is to gather information from respondents then uh, usually the questions we know that it will be in a uh, printed form and uh, also along with the questions some uh, choice of answers will be the they used to collect the um, Mm, or try to gather the information from us so that they are giving a questioner and we know that the questioner consists of a series of questions many questions will be there and each question we call as the item get it under item nana or a statement in usually in psychology we use the term item and uh, uh, they uh, they are distributing this questioner to gather information from us and um, and usually, uh, what is our task? Our task is to uh, just uh, answer. Or the as I mentioned, the some choice of answers will be there. We have to put a uh, tick mark or we have to mark according to our choice. So that is the our task. So usually, these type of questionnaires, it is uh, usually used for statistical study or uh, when we conduct some survey method also, we use this questionnaire. So in short, uh, research means Sorry, questioner means it is a research instrument. And the main purpose is to gather information from the respondent. And uh, who invented the questioner? Any idea? The questioner, it was invented by the Statistical Society of London. Statistical Society of London in 1838. And uh, the, uh, usually what happens is that the respondent, uh, they will give the response in the written format. Hmm? According to our choice, uh, we will mark. Hmm? So that we can say that the respondent will give the response in the written format. 
then um, but uh, nowadays you know uh, especially during during this pandemic condition uh, it can be carried out uh, through telephone also or through uh, computer or uh, i mean through mail or even by post also we can uh, use this uh, question and we consider it as a written interview അല്ലെ സാധാരണ ഇപ്പം നമ്മൾ ഒരു കാര്യം അതിനകത്ത് ചോദിക്കുന്നു അതിന് നമ്മൾ വി ആർ റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എ റിട്ടേൺ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ സൈക്കോളജി വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റിനർ ഇൻ ദ കോണ്ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സൈക്കോളജി വി യൂസ് ക്വസ്റ്റിനേഴ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് എൻ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് മീൻസ് ടു മെഷർ വേരിയസ് ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ലൈക്ക് ബിഹേവിയർ ദെൻ ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഒപ്പീനിയൻ Uh, then what is mood etc ee ente ee aspects okka measure cheyanengil etto it is this questioner it is considered as the effective means uh, so in a questioner uh, uh, questions will be the only task is to uh, the respondent has to answer the question depending avarku or choice undagum choices will be the the avarada endana avarada opinion endanu cheyya they have to mark we, and we consider it as an effective means to measure various aspects related to psychology and uh, usually in a questioner the questions may be either open ended or closed ended questions open ended aayirikka closed ended aayirikka so what is open ended question what do you mean by open ended question answer can be descriptive yes answer can be descriptive that means the subject is free to write answers or they can make uh, they can note the response in a way they think or in their own words they can write their answers it will be descriptive appo uh, open ended questions as well as um, closed ended questions will be there so in open and open ended questions it uh, answers will be descriptive but in the uh, case of other that is closed in closed in questions or um, closed ended questions or closed questions the subject is able to mark the res- mark the response only in the specific column ഒരു കോളം കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കും അതിനകത്ത് സംടൈംസ് ഇറ്റ് മൈറ്റ് ബി എസ് സംടൈംസ് നോ ആയിരിക്കും സംടൈംസ് എസ് ഓർ നോ ഓർ സംടൈംസ് സപ്പോസ് ഇഫ് ദ റെസ്പോണ്ട് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ ലൊക്കാലിറ്റി വെദർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മെൻഷൻ ഡസ് സംടൈംസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മെൻഷൻ ഡസ് അർബൻ ഓർ റൂറൽ സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് സോ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കൺസ് വി കൺസിഡർ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എ ക്ലോസ് ഇൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ദ സബ്ജെക്ട് ദേ ഷുഡ് മാർക്ക് ദ റെസ്പോൺസ് ഓൺലി ഇൻ ദ സ്പെസിഫിക് കോളം സോ ദാറ്റ് വി ദാറ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വി കോൾ ആസ് ക്ലോസ്ഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്മുടെ വേറെ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഒന്നുമില്ല ദേ ഹാവ് ടു മാർക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ സ്പെസിഫിക് കോളം സോ മോസ്റ്റ്ലി യൂഷ്വലി in most of the questioner um, the options uh, only two options will be the sadharana questioners la ellathilum two options irikkum yes or no allengi male or female then urban or rural angantha korchu karyangal okke irikkum undagunnathu appa usually we can say that it is dichotomous that means two only two options are the then uh, uh so this is uh, uh, this is the uh, mainly about the questioner then what are the advantages of a questioner what are the advantages of a questioner hmm? questioner na main atla advantages endakkana data can be directly collected from the sample yes very good the data can be directly connect, uh, collected from the sample that means it is uh, we can say that it is relatively cheap alle vera vera budhimutta onnilla nere chella collect kiya we can collect it appa so we can say that it is relatively cheap and at the same time economical also and uh, other important thing is that uh, it is uh, useful in gathering information quickly from a large number of people that is the most important thing pa pa or group aayittu pa enikku ningalde personality assess cheyanundengil class il vannu i can uh, distribute the questioner and after um, few minutes you, i will get the data from you because you are marking on the on that piece of paper and you are giving it so it is relatively cheap Mm. Uh, time con- uh, it is not time consuming it is economical and uh, i can gather the information um, very quickly from a large number of people so that are the main advantages of a questioner then 
what are the disadvantages of a questioner? Hmm? Usually, we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions. Research in a base. But usually, what will we do? We will do this question. 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 Will we be honest in our marking? There is a chance of manipulation. Ah, yes. There is a chance of manipulation or uh, manipulation. Um, not only the manipulation or bias will be the more than that, the respondent's uh, honesty in answering that is doubtful. I will tell you that we have 100 questions. We have a ticket to go. Usually, this happens. I know that uh, in most of the cases, uh, it is very common that the respondents, uh, respondents simply put a mark. Mm. Uh, even even without reading the particular question, they simply put the mark. So we can say that the respondent's honesty in answering that is doubtful. And uh, usually when we fill up a questioner, we often try to project our positive image of ourselves. For a particular question, we always try to project the positive image mm, of ourselves. That is, we, we always have a tendency to lie. We try to project the positive aspect. That is very important thing. So, um, and that is, uh, these are the main disadvantages of a questioner. So, okay, so when we talk about the questioner, uh, first is the honesty. The respondent's honesty in answering, that is uh, doubtful. And uh, the next thing is that usually when we fill up a questioner, we often try to project the positive image of ourselves. That, that means we have a tendency to lie. So these are the main uh, disadvantages of the questioner. But uh, overall, we can say that the uh, questioner has uh, um, so many advantages. Um, then um, uh, advantages of three. And, uh, usually in psychology, we usually depend on questioner for assessment. Or we consider the uh, questioner as a research instrument. So, hope it is clear. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so, next is the self report or self report technique. What is a self report technique? Again, we can say that it is again a tool to gather uh, information. So, self report means a questioner is an example for self report. So we are reporting about ourselves. So we can say that a questioner can be an example for self-report. Um, uh, in uh, psychology, it is a report. Uh, when we talk about the self-report, we say that uh, it is a report by the individual. That is our own report regarding our own behavior, our own attitude, sometimes uh, uh, about our own symptoms. Uh, our own beliefs, uh, then our own values, our own interest. This aspect either. This aspects in a base that we are giving a report. If I am clinician, suppose if I am having some symptoms of anxiety, or the clinician um, may come to a conclusion that the that I am suffering from the uh, uh, suffering from anxiety. So if we want to find out from my side. Then what he asked me to give a self-report. So here I am giving a, a report, my own report regarding my own behavior, regarding my own attitudes, uh, regarding my own symptoms, fear, our beliefs, our values. So we can say that it is a self-report. Uh, and uh, here also, some in most of the cases, uh, just like the questioner, the subject fills out the questioner uh, with, or uh, sometimes the, he, the <clears throat> the subject fills the questioner with the help of a clinician. Sometimes uh, he may fill the questioner without the help of the clinician. Apa, he render idil na da kam quest. Chalapa clinician da help on darigan. Chalapa clinician da help illa to thanna. He is uh, giving the report. So the respondent read the question and select the 
respond just like as we do in the quiz now method uh, here also in the self report also the respondent read the question and select the response so self uh, report techniques it include uh, various techniques like a uh, questionnaire method then interview or sometimes the subject is asked to write the diaries diary either either that is also a self report technique uh, and uh, usually in most of the self report technique uh, preset questions will be the and the task of the subject is to simply to respond usually ellathilum oru preset aayittulla oru questions undayirikkam ennittu avarode ezhudan parayana cheyyanu idonnum allade oru open aayittulla idanannundengil it can be it, uh, even uh, writing the diaries is, is an example for self report technique appo um, uh, if somebody ask you to give an example for the self report question then epa what is epa epi i am already i told you in the last uh, few classes epi and then epa i sync personality inventory do you remember hmm Yes, ah, Isenk personality inventory. That is a uh, self-report uh, question. Apa Isenk personality inventory le alagil 16 PF four kanda. Do you remember the 16 PF? Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, 16 personality factors. Apa 16 personality factors also it is a question. Certain questions will be there, and your task is to respond uh, to mark your respond. Uh, response so uh, we can say that the epa or 16 pf then mmpa is the that is minnesota multifacetic personality inventory uh, then other include mayer briggs uh, type indicators pinne angane kore questions njan a personality idu padichu pa padichilla adakka all these come, uh, can be considered as a self report question appa adana self report nanna so I hope it is clear self report so self report um, it is uh, self or we can say that the self report techniques include questionnaires interviews uh, writing even diaries writing diaries all those uh, are example for the self report self report okay thank you ma'am yes, ma okay. okay the next is the about the interview that is uh, this is very important <coughs> uh what is interview 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 means it is a, we can say that uh, when we talk about the the job in the interview alla alada when we talk about uh, in the context of psychology uh, it is interview can be considered as a conversation between one or two or more than two people nammala angotu ingotu ulla oru conversation aanu so here the, the main thing is that the interview is conducted with a specific purpose we are conducting the psychological interview with a specific purpose so in psychology the clinician uses the interview method to gain information about the client if suppose i am the counselor or i am the clinician i am uh, using this particular method interview method uh, to collect information about my client enikku or client und if suppose the client is having uh, some um, disorder personality disorder and that but i want to before coming to the conclusion that my client is having the personality disorder i have to conduct an interview so here in the interview what i am doing i am asking so many questions uh, sometimes the questions uh, will be direct questions sometimes indirect questions and i am uh, through this method i am uh, trying to gain information about my client and finally i come to a conclusion that my uh, client is having so and so disorder so uh, that is the interview method so the interview is conducted in an efficient manner we have to do it in an efficient manner and also in an orderly manner or in a streamlined manner we have to conduct the interview so in short we can say that it is a face to face interaction with the uh, client 
and hear the interviewer that means the clinician ask some questions and sometimes um, the clinician ask them to elaborate or describe the particular event if a particular event uh, the uh, client feels it as a stressful as a stressful event then the interviewer to gain the information uh, the uh, <clears throat> informant ask them to elaborate or describe the particular event so we can say that interview it is a two way uh, interaction or a two way conver uh, con 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 conversation uh, that is it is a two way conversation uh, and it is to be conducted in a systematic way that means systematic conversation between the uh, clinician and the informant and with a specific purpose about where the clinician will have a specific purpose and for this specific purpose uh, in the specific what, what what will be the specific purpose in there is a specific purpose or another to come to a conclusion regarding the client's problem sometimes it may be a diagnosis allengil vera endengilu irikam appo for this the clinician is using the interview method so it is a systematic conversation between the investigator and an informant and the clinician is using this uh, particular or uh, systematic conversation for a specific purpose so the so this is very important then uh, when while conducting the interview the first task is to establish the rapport with the informant ipo enikku or issue unda njan or clinician ed eduthu povuvanenge so i have to open up Mm. Uh, before if i want if i feel uh, if i if i want to open up my problems i have to feel comfortable with the clinician so initially the first task is to establish a rap rapport with the informant that means then only once the rapport is built up then uh, it is uh, very easy for the clinician to build up trust and confidence in the interview so the uh, creating the trust as well as confidence in the interview with that is very important so for the first task of the clinician is to establish a rapport with the uh, respondent or with the client then the in the interview the interviewer requests the skills to elicit the information from the client also ipa ore interview conduct in the samayath ipa njan ore clinician anadondu njan verude samsarichirunnadu kondu kaariyilla but at the same time i have to i need the skill interviewing skill that is very important so the interviewer in the interview the interviewer requests the skill to elicit the information from the client in the kind of what are his problems mm? uh, in the what are the symptoms uh ellam what are the what is the underlying cause for this problem everything the clinician has to elicit from the from his client so that is very important so that is considered as a major skill that is called the interviewing skill so in the interview the interviewer requests the skill to elicit the information from the client that is very important is it clear yes okay then uh, when we talk about the interview uh, different types of interview are the uh, any idea it's called the structured interview is the then unstructured interview uh, semi structured mainly three types of interview ee moonu type ningal pa nokkiya madhi that is structured interview <coughs> then unstructured interview and semi structured interview these are the three types of interviews <clears throat> any what do you mean by structured interview pre what do you mean by the questions are already pre arranged yes very good so structured interview means uh, again it is a very detailed interview and it is uh, conducted in a standardized schedule we have to say that it it is conducted in a uh, standardized schedule that because in the name itself it implies A structured interview so standardized schedule that means same questions same order and in the similar situations pa questions ipo choikumba the pa or interview kaiyu adutha interview nu varuna samayathu avaru or patient vannale same questions airikam same order la airikam and in the similar situation and this type of interview it is most, most mostly used to collect data from a group of people hmm? 
അപ്പൊ ഇതിപ്പോ ചിലപ്പോ ഒരു ക്ലാസ് റൂമിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ക്ലാസ് റൂമിൽ ഇപ്പൊ എത്ര എക്സ്ട്രോ ഹൗ മെനി എക്സ്ട്രോ വേർഡ്സ് അത് ഹൗ മെനി ഇൻട്രോ വേർഡ്സ് അത് ഇഫ് ദ ടീച്ചർ വോണ്ട്സ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഷി ഈസ് ഗിവിംഗ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റിന് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ദെൻ Uh, it is we can say that it is a structured interview questions questioner kodutu at the same time the teacher is conducting some interview so here the questions are asked in a standardized schedule that means same questions are asked the questions are asked in the same order and the situation it is also somewhat similar so this we can say that this type of interview it is more often used to collect data from a group of people and ipo thoru villa oru group inu collect cheyidu suppose idu oru job inde or aspect nanu nundengilum if we usually use this structured method uh, then uh, uh, from that uh, big data short list we have to short list from the group of people uh then the interviewer here when uh, the suppose the interviewer is conducting the uh, structured interview the interviewer creates a set of questions in advance that is important and these questions are asked to all the candidates in the same manner and in the same order so we can say that uh, the structured interview it is also called the planned interview or patterned interview ഇത് നേരത്തെ എല്ലാം പ്രീ പ്ലാൻഡ് ആണ് എങ്ങനത്തെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ചോദിക്കണം ഏത് ഓർഡറിൽ ചോദിക്കണം ഇപ്പൊ ഫസ്റ്റ് റെസ്പോണ്ടന്റ് വന്നു ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ആസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇൻ എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ വേ ആ സെയിം ഓർഡറിലായിരിക്കും ആ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഓർഡറിലായിരിക്കും സെക്കൻഡ് ആളുടെ അടുത്തും ചോദിക്കണം ആൻഡ് സപ്പോസ് ദ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഇസ് കണ്ടക്ടഡ് എമങ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി പീപ്പിൾ ദെൻ വോട്ട് ദെൻ ദേ വിൽ ഷോർട്ട് ലിസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രം എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ സോ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ക്രിയേറ്റ്സ് എ സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇൻ അഡ്വാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആർ ആസ് ടു ഓൾ ദ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദ സെയിം മാനർ ആൻഡ് ഓർഡർ സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വട്ട് ഇസ് അതർ നെയിം പ്ലാൻഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഓർ പാറ്റേൺ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ and uh, the uh, most important thing is that the interviewer will not deviate from the interview schedule um, or try to probe any answers that is the important thing ipo nan interview structured interview conduct cheyidondirikkana our same questions same uh, same method la thanne i have to follow till the end last candidate till the last candidate and uh, in between uh, i will i never deviate from the interview schedule or i never try to probe any answers ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു ആൻസർ പറഞ്ഞു അത് അവിടെ നിർത്തി അതോടുകൂടി അത് കഴിഞ്ഞു സോ ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് മെത്തേഡ് വി കോൾ ആസ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഈ ഒരു ടൈപ്പ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ വി കോൾ ആസ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾ ദ പ്ലാൻഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഓർ പാറ്റേൺഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ അപ്പൊ എല്ലാം നേരത്തെ പ്രീ പ്ലാൻഡ് ആണ് ഇസ് എ ക്ലിയർ ദെൻ ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ദ അൺസ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ unstructured interview appo usually ee structured interview okka ee job interview allengil oru namukku oru villa oru group of candidates unda madinu shortlist cheyan vendite we usually use this structured interview okay if suppose uh, after the completion of uh, pg നിങ്ങളി പി ജി ഒക്കെ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് യു ആർ വർക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ ആസ് എൻ ഓർഗനൈസേഷണൽ ബിഹേവിയറിസ്റ്റ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ഓർഗനൈസേഷണൽ ബിഹേവിയർ സ്പെഷ്യലൈസ് ചെയ്തു ഒരു ഓർഗനൈസേഷനിൽ സൈക്കോളജിസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുകയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സപ്പോസ് യു വിൽ ബി ദർ ഇൻ ദ പാനൽ ഫോർ ദ എന്താണ് സെലക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് എംപ്ലോയീസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ടൈം യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദിസ് സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ നൗ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ലുക്ക് വോട്ട് ഇസ് എൻ അൺസ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ so unstructured interview means there will not be any set of questions it's just the opposite of a structured interview so here uh, there will not be any pre planned questions so the interviewer asks some open ended questions based on a particular topic that is the main uh, criteria apo oru pa suppose nammala we have to uh, deal this um, unstructured interview in the clinical context that means if a or anxiety the symptoms side varuvanundengi so here the interviewer asks some uh, questions that is open ended questions based on this uh, a particular area particular topic or particular area in the sense suppose if it is about the anxiety anxiety da endakana eppadakana ingena or panic attack undaga allengi what are the symptoms or what all difficulties you experience at this time so it is a, a fully open ended questions so that the interviewer uh, the interview it goes like like a natural con- 
കോൺവെർസേഷൻ സാധാരണ ഒരു ഇൻ്ററാക്ഷൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സാധാരണ ഒരു കോൺവെർസേഷൻ പോലെ അങ്ങ് പോകും നമ്മൾ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിനെ കാണുമ്പോൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മളൊരു ഡോക്ടറെ അടുത്ത് ചെന്നിട്ട് എങ്ങനെയാണ് സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് അതേപോലെ പോകും സോ വി ക്യാൻ കോൾ ഇറ്റ് എസ് എൻ ഇൻഫോർമൽ ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ ഓൾസോ ആൻഡ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് തിങ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി എനി പ്രീ ഡിറ്റർമിൻഡ് ഓർഡർ just like a structured interview so we can say that uh, the better understanding of the candidate is possible that is the main advantage of this uh, unstructured interview appo nammal or clinical aspect or clinical situation la clinical a or context la anundengi it is better we have to adopt the unstructured interview because uh, then only we will be able to get a better understanding of the candidate and also the client as well as the clinician it, they will be more flexible as well as more comfortable but because the interview it goes like an informal uh, in, in where it is highly informal and so that the better understanding of the candidate a candidate in the sense that uh, client is possible and but the what will be the main disadvantage of this unstructured interview unstructured interview the main disadvantage endana it is the main disadvantage but it is just like an informal talk or we can call time it as a, yes that is highly time consuming time consuming utri time nammalde pogum and also other important thing is that um, as it is uh, Uh, highly informal there are chances to divert from the topic but nammala samsarichu varumbeythekkum aa topic nokka oru deviate edu povanulla chances are also there appo uh, this these two things can be considered as the main disadvantage of uh, uh, unstructured interview it is highly time consuming and there are chances to divert from the topic then uh, when we talk about the um, interview generally about the interview um, confidentiality on the part of the interviewer that is very important but the interview la mathralla even if it is a counseling la ilum endila ayalum in the clinical context ku varna samayath the confidentiality on the part of the interviewer that is very 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 important that all all the time you, ha- you always you have to keep in your mind that the confidentiality it is your responsibility when you practice as a clinician it is your responsibility to maintain the confidentiality okay then next is the semi structured interview semi structured nu orana endana some aspect of the structured interview will be there at the same time some aspect of the uh, unstructured interview will be there hmm? so most of the questions are prepared but some questions will be added in between and it does not strictly follow a formalized list of questions appa korchu questions kondaki vechittunda adu anusarichu the questions will be asked but at the same time endana idinde edayile chelappa oru question choikkanam nu vicharichu kenal aa question kudi add cheyum but uh, in a semi structured interview the clinician uh, never for strictly never strictly follow a uh, formalized the list of uh, questions uh, usually most of the questions will be open ended appa idu rendinte kodi or mixture aayittulla we can say that it is a semi structured interview is it clear yes ma'am so these yes, are the different techniques uh, these are the different methods of interview structured uh, semi structured and uh, unstructured interview okay the next is the observational uh, method so shall we take 5 minutes break after that i'll come back okay okay ma'am okay
Hello. Shall we start? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, next is uh, the observational method. Observational method. Uh, so what is actually observation? So when you go to a, a doctor or a physician, usually uh, when you talk about the your uh, symptoms, the person. yeah, the doctor usually observe means uh, examining something. Or uh, here, when we talk about the observational method in psychology, that is, uh, we are examining the uh, what it is called uh, outward behavior. We are examining the outward behavior means the behavior that can that. Uh, we can observe. So here in observational method, it is also again considered as a uh, tool for studying the behavior. So here uh, close as well as the detailed observation that is needed. Upon particular behavior, if you want to study, we have to, um, we need the close as well as the detailed observation of that particular uh, client or a group of people. So observation method, it is the careful and objective observation of a particular aspect of human behavior. Upon group in the particular behavior, we have to, uh, uh, we, we have to uh, observe that particular behavior means a, a careful as well as the objective observation of a particular aspect of human behavior is a uh, need. Uh, so uh, do you remember the social learning theory proposed by whom? Social learning theory. Albert Bandura. Social learning theory, uh, we usually we know that uh, uh, when we talk about the observational method, I just I'm remembering that most of us adopt this method in our everyday life. Because uh, we are we are observing others uh, and uh, sometimes consciously or unconsciously we are imitating or modeling that behavior. And also at the same time, we are also being observed. Namalim Palari observe in the Namalam Palari observe in the Namal observe in a sometimes Namala our behavior we are trying to imitate uh, consciously or unconsciously. Chella behavior Namala are rather than Namala imitate the poor under a paduna padakun Namalatan and observe the Ganya. We know that. So we can say that in observational method, depending on end perspective in Yamparnu, um, social learning theory. Observation that uh, observation method it is highly uh, um, influential. So, you know, when we talk about the observation method, the clinician is uh, mainly noting the behavior, then uh, he is uh, analyzing the behavior, then uh, finally interpreting the behavior, and finally generally coming to a conclusion. About observation method, the steps, uh, the steps means the clinician is noting the behavior, the clinician is analyzing the behavior interpreting the behavior and finally he is coming to a conclusion and uh, the observation it is carried out in uh, different situations or the important types of observation include what are the different types of observation method naturalistic and uh, Na yes. naturalistic observation is there or participant observation is there then non participant observation is the participant observation or the group the clinician is becoming a member of the group and he is observing the behavior non participant or he is not the member of the group but he is standing or he he will be outside the group but he is observing and in controlled observation as well as uncontrolled observation is the controlled and uncontrolled i'll uh, uh, Give the details when I come to the next method. Okay, then when we talk about the participant observation, uh, in this type of observation, the observer or the clinician becomes the part of the group uh, which he wants to observe. And uh, here the clinician freely mingles with the members of the group. Uh, but the important thing is that the members are not aware that they are being observed by the clinician. Hmm. Apa, na, participant observation le, clinician na, he will be a member of the group and he is not aware that uh, he is being observed by the uh, 
uh, clinician. So in such a situation, they will not hide the behavior or actual behavior. It will not be other uh, because uh, um, he does the members of the group doesn't know that they are being observed. But in the case of non-participant observation, here the observer or the clinician observes the group under study without actually participating in the group activities. So here the observer will observe even minute things. The members of the group are aware that they are being observed. So uh, they may I hide the actual behavior. And uh, uh, the observation is unbiased. Hmm? Uh, then uh, I mentioned about the other than a participant observation and non-participant observation Tamil or difference. I hope it is clear. Other man slide. Then coming to the controlled observation. Controlled observation where in a the observation is made under controlled conditions. Controlled conditions were another. Can you experimental. Yes, experimental laboratory. For example, the observer may make use of experimental laboratory. So that is an example for the controlled observation. Then when we talk about the uncontrolled observation, the here the observation it is controlled in natural setting. Sorry, the, not controlled. The observation is done in natural setting um, as they occur spontaneously. For example, observing the behavior of the children at play is an example for uncontrolled observation. That is for uh, this is uh, uh, we can say that it is a naturalistic observation. So there are just like other method also this. Uh, um, this method that is observational method it it also has its own merits and demerits what are the merits it can be uh, adaptable uh, or we can uh, use this uh, to both uh, to individual as well as in group situation that is the main merit of this uh, observational method but uh, demerits uh, demerits when we talk about the demerits uh, can you Highlight few demerits of this uh, observation. Time consuming, Time consuming uh, is correct, but more than that, bias can be yes, bias as well as prejudice will be the chances of personal prejudice and bias will be the. We all have like, prejudice and bias that is a natural thing, and. Uh, when we uh, consider this observational method, the main demerit is the chances of personal prejudice and bias. That is the main important thing. Okay, then shall we move to the next method? Next method, it is uh, case study or the clinical method. I think it is uh, there in, uh, in your assignment case study. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when we talk about the case study, it is also called the clinical method. And uh, mainly it is used to study the behavior problems. Behavior problems usually case study, you say another. Uh, or when we talk about the behavior problems, remember, uh, sometimes it can be some maladjusted behavior or a deviant individual. Usually... Um, Pro behavior problems nor an alinger undesired behavior where in the time like an case study uh, we should usually we adopt then um, what do you mean by a case so case study so here we are using the term case so what do you mean by a case subject yes subject usually uh, when we deal with the uh, clinical psychology then we use this uh, particular term that is case so in clinical psychology case where uh, other where a social psychology angante where nadathonu case nu paranja nammal use cheyala ettum kudile common aayittu we use this uh, term case in clinical psychology so in clinical psychology <clears throat> the case it is used to indicate an individual who is facing some problem in the problem you face in the case, uh, suppose uh, the person might have uh, anxiety disorder, sometimes uh, PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder, uh, sometimes some personality disorder, maybe alcoholism, case of alcoholism. 
in such cases we use uh, the term case so case means it is used to indicate an individual who is facing some problem so only uh, with the help of the detailed case study the problem can be identified and finally solved appo or case vannu kaniyanal namukku detailed data case study Hmm. But we are talking about the case study. Our case vannu. Apa our case na? Ah, our case na. We have to study in detail. Then only we will be able to identify what the problem the particular case is facing. And finally, we have to solve it. Apa our case na? Varne andha na mensla ila. Case na achi na. Our behavior problem orle raale na. Case na varne andha. Angan our problem orle raale na mal dadte vandhe gari na. We have to uh, do the in-depth study. Then only we will be able to understand what that particular case is. Other than the mens like a nyalana, we will be able to solve it. So other than a case uh, case study. Now, for example, if um, um, uh, are there teachers in this group? Any teachers in this group? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, I think okay. 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 Uh, about, suppose a child who is um, socially maladjusted or emotionally disturbed or we can say that he is uh, the particular child is experiencing difficulty in academics hmm appo or class il ningal irikkina samayathu or kutti suppose if he is emotionally disturbed irikka allengi he find it very difficult to adjust with the class with other students uh, or uh, he is uh, the particular child is experiencing the difficulty in academics this child we call as a case or a clinical case appo angane oru kutti veru anundengi we can call it as a case appo ee kuttide problem endanu if you want to study how will we study namukku uh, we have to, uh, we have to uh, uh, yes detailed yes, case study talk with them Uh, we have to talk with them we have to gather information or we not gather it is better to use the word we have to elicit the um, various uh, things from child as well as from the family members mm? then only we will be able to come to a conclusion that the child is facing so and so problem because of this uh, reason some underlying cause will be there so we have to uncover all these things uh? that child we call as the case or the clinical case so uh, clinical uh, study means it is the in depth study of the case and here we are considering all the details appo nammle ee maladjustment allengi emotional disturbance allengi difficulty in academics endukondana undai the some underlying cause will be the appo the biological aayirikkam chelappa vera environmental problem aayirikkam endanu namukku ariyanam nundengi we have to go in depth appo aa in depth study we call it as the clinical study or the case study here we are considering all the details appo clinical psychology le ee or case study nu parayanathu valare important aanu edu or patient vannal nammalde munnil varuna samayathu namukku even jenikkumba thottulla karyangale nammal manasilaakanam that is why it is said that it is the in depth study of a case and uh, the clinical method uh, we uh, as i mentioned we call as the case study or the case history method apo in a case study the clinician is not focusing on a single detail ഒരു സിംഗിൾ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ഇപ്പൊ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് പ്രശ്നം അത്രയും മാത്രമല്ല നോക്കണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇപ്പൊ ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു കേസ് ക്ലാസ്സില് ഒരു ഇമോഷണലി ഡിസ്റ്റേബ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കേസ് വന്നു അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ചോദിക്കുകയാണ് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് ക്ലാസ്സിൽ ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പഠിക്കാൻ എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് എന്തൊക്കെ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുകളാണ് കുട്ടി ഫേസ് ചെയ്യണത് ഇത് ഈ ഒരു കാര്യം മാത്രമല്ല നമ്മൾ നോക്കുന്നത് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഗ്യാദർ ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ അബൌട്ട് എവ്രിതിങ് that means it should be detailed uh, the information it should be realistic uh, the information it should be reliable and uh, while uh, taking the case history we are observing the behavior of the child hmm? at the same time we are interviewing the child we are examining the medical report and sometimes we have to depend on certain psychological tests it's thing കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വി ആർ ഏബിൾ ടു കം ടു എ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ സോ 
we have to gather information from various areas ipo nan paranju ingena oru student nammal eduthu vannu varana time il one minute ഇങ്ങനെ വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ പേരൻസിന്റെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്ന് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ കിട്ടണം അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ഈ കുട്ടിയുടെ ബിഹേവിയർ ഒബ്സേർവ് ചെയ്യണം ഇപ്പൊ അക്കാഡമിക് ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റി ഉള്ളൊരു കുട്ടിയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ ടെസ്റ്റുകൾ ഇട്ട് കൊടുത്ത് റൈറ്റിംഗ് അങ്ങനത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ആ ഒരു ഏജ് അപ്രോപ്രിയേറ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഏജിന് പറ്റിയ ലേണിംഗ് ഈ കുട്ടിക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇത് നമ്മൾ ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണം നമ്മള് നമ്മള് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദെൻ ചിലപ്പോ ഇന്റലിജൻസിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഇഷ്യൂ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് തോന്നിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു കണ്ടക്ട് ദ ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ദെൻ ഓൺലി വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു കം ടു എ ഫൈനൽ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് സം ഇന്റലക്ച്വൽ പ്രോബ്ലം പിന്നെ ഇമോഷണൽ ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകാൻ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇന്റല ഈവൻ ഇന്റലക്ച്വൽ ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് അത് ജനിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് ബേർത്ത് ടൈമിൽ ഉണ്ടായ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി കൊണ്ടാണോ ഇതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഡിസ്റ്റ നമുക്ക് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് കളക്ട് ചെയ്യണം സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു കളക്ട് ദ ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ഇൻ എ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് മാനർ ആൻഡ് ആസ് ഐ മെൻഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഇൻ എ റിയലിസ്റ്റിക് വേ റിയലിസ്റ്റിക് ആയിരിക്കണം റിലയബിൾ ആയിരിക്കണം ഈ ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ നമ്മൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാം റിലയബിൾ ആയിരിക്കണം അപ്പൊ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും വി ആർ ഗ്യാദറിംഗ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ഫ്രം വേരിയസ് ഏരിയാസ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈനലി ആസ് എ ക്ലിനീഷ്യൻ ദീസ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻസ് ആർ പൂൾ ടുഗെദർ ഇൻ എ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഓർഡർ ഇത് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം ജനിച്ച സമയം തൊട്ട് ടിൽ ഡേറ്റ് വരെയുള്ള ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ നമ്മൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് ടു പൂൾ ഓൾ ദീസ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ഇൻ എ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഓർഡർ ടു പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ കോംപ്രിഹെൻസീവ് കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി അപ്പൊ ജനിച്ച സമയത്ത് ജനിക്കുന്ന സമയത്തിന് മുന്നിൽ ചിലപ്പോൾ കൺസീവ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയം തൊട്ടുള്ള ഓരോ കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്തു കൊണ്ടുവന്നിട്ട് വി ഹാവ് ടു പുട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ആൻ ഓർഡർ ഓൺലി ഇൻ എ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഓർഡർ ദെൻ ഓൺലി വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു കം ടു എ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് എ ഫൈനൽ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ കേസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദെൻ വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ലൊക്കേറ്റ് ദ കോഴ്സസ് ഫോർ ദ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോബ്ലം അല്ല ഇപ്പൊ മാൽ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിന് അത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഉണ്ടായത് വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾ ദ കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി മെത്തേഡ് മനസ്സിലായോ കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി മെത്തേഡ് എന്താണ് ഇപ്പൊ കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് അപ്പൊ യൂഷ്വലി ഇൻ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്ലിനിക്സ് ഓർ ഇൻ ദ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ ദേ ഹാവ് എ ഫോർമാറ്റ് ഈ ഫോർമാറ്റ് വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ കേസ് എടുക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇത് ഇപ്പൊ മൈൽ സ്റ്റോൺസ് ഓരോന്ന് അറ്റൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇങ്ങനെ ഓരോരോ കുറെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് അതിനകത്തുണ്ട് അതെല്ലാം നമ്മൾ പതുക്കെ ഈ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ മെത്തേഡിൽ കൂടി അത് സംടൈം സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ആയിരിക്കാം സംടൈം സെമി സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ആയിരിക്കാം ഇതെല്ലാം ചോദിച്ച് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയ ശേഷം വി ആർ ഫൈനലി കമ്മിങ് ടു എ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ദ പേഴ്സൺ ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് സോ ആൻഡ് സോ പ്രോബ്ലം ആൻഡ് വോട്ട് ഇസ് ദ കോസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോബ്ലം ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഏബിൾ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ത്രൂ ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി method and the case study method it is also called the clinical method and other important point is that it is the in depth study of a case and we are considering all the details <coughs> then uh, what are the merits of this uh, case study usually nammala oru child allengil oru endengil oru psychological disorder ulla raalu vannu kaiya we are adopting this method ഓക്കെ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി മെത്തേഡ് ആണ് യൂഷ്വലി ഒരു ക്ലിനിക്കൽ സെറ്റപ്പിൽ നമ്മൾ യൂഷ്വലി അഡോപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു മെത്തേഡ് അപ്പൊ ഈ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡിയിൽ തന്നെ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ സെമി സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഇതെല്ലാം കൂടി എടുത്തിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ഫൈനലി വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ആൻഡ് വോട്ട് ആർ ദ മെറിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി മെറിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഫോർ ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ക്യാൻ ബി ഐഡന്റിഫൈഡ് ഈസിലി Uh, not a solution solution alla solution ne munnayittu nammal parayendathu the main thing is that we will get a detailed picture of the individual first thing is that we will get a detailed picture of the individual then only we will uh, utilize certain methods like uh, um, certain uh, psychotherapeutic methods we can utilize for that particular And we can rep- we can replicate what is the previous studies on the for the future cases uh, that is the main
anything you can replicate if it is successful in the previous cases uh, but uh, the case may differ from one patient to other no the uh, patient the case may differ as well as the yeah, response some, from some the patient factors to, like ma'am uh, certain fact it, it it can be applicable to normal cases this case study normal cases in the sense sometimes uh, in yes. the clinical yes. setup it may not be always applicable because the in the clinical setup uh, the uh, patient with anxiety issues he uh, is uh, suppose the person x is responding in a particular way and the uh, same uh, case same case means a case with anxiety person why he will respond in a different way so it uh, depends on the case so we can't say that it we can replicate that uh, this method in all the cases i don't think so, so. can we refer the proper treatment yes the... that a uh, treatment we can uh, use finally we come to a conclusion that uh, uh, we can um, uh, finalize say, a treatment method and uh, usually it is a uh, method is often qualitative and uh, usually less errors in diagnosis less errors in diagnosis then uh, it is more reliable uh, the anyway first thing is that we will get a detailed picture regarding the individual uh, because uh, this method utilizes uh, other methods like observation interview test um, etc for data collection and finally we are coming to a, a conclusion that Uh, the person is having so and so problem, and finally, uh, we can uh, use uh, certain appropriate uh, therapeutic techniques for that case. Okay, uh, then uh, what are the demerits? Results cannot be generalized. Yes, that is time time consuming. Then uh, we can't come to a. Uh, particular or generalization we can't come to that thing then another important thing is that uh, proper training it is needed to do a case study that is very important because we have to elicit the information from the client so to elicit the information means uh, uh, certain skills are needed if you want to conduct the interview or uh, if you have to elicit the information from the client this interviewing skills or the case study skills are needed so that is very important so proper training is needed to do a case study that is uh, um, that is uh, we, most of the clinician or uh, the people lack it and we can't consider it as a demerit അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഒരു ട്രെയിനിങ് നല്ലൊരു ട്രെയിനിങ് ഇല്ല അതില്ല എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സംതിംസ് ദ ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് ഇറ്റ് മൈറ്റ് ബി റോങ് വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു എ റോങ് കൺക്ലൂഷൻ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എനി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ് തിങ് എനിവേ വെൻ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കൺസിഡർഡ് ആസ് എ usually this uh, method it is used in the uh, clinical uh, clinical setup and it is used to indicate an individual who is facing a problem and only with the help of the detailed case study the problem can be identified and solved and when we as you as somebody mentioned uh, when we solve the problem if you want to solve the problem we have to rely on various psychotherapeutic uh, techniques but when we do uh, before um, giving a proper therapeutic technique the initial thing is that to we have to identify the problem in the correct way so that the, that means the diagnosis it should be uh, correct okay clear case study appa case study is a very important thing case study valare important aan especially this is used in the clinical setup appa case study la one more thing i want to repeat is that the proper training is needed to do a case study appa ningalku when we when you do the do the internship um, uh, always select a good clinic or a good hospital where, the, where there are loads of cases it is very easy to uh, സാധാരണ ഒരു കേസാണ് സാധാരണ വേറെ വലിയ പ്രോബ്ലം ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാത്തൊരു ഇതാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി നമുക്ക് സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കേസ് ഒക്കെ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ഫോർ ടു ഡു ദ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ഫോർ എസ് ടു ഡു ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ബട്ട് ഇഫ് ദ കേസ് ഇസ് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് കോംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഓർ ഇഫ് ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദാറ
uh, then it is very difficult to do the case study. So uh, we should have the skill to elicit the information from the case, even if it's not cooperative, that is very important. OK. Then, OK. okay. The next is about the um, experimental method or the scientific method. This is very, very important. So experimental method, it is the most scientific and objective method for studying uh, behavior. Uh, this uh, usually gives uh, more importance to the cause and effect relationship. Cause and effect relationship. And the key factor in this method is controlling the conditions or variables. Uh, experimental research methods. Have you completed? Yes, yes ma'am. So you know that what is a variable, and there are different types of variable. When we talk about the variables, you know that there are different types of variable. The main three types of variable are independent variable, dependent variable, then intervening or controlled variable. So if you know that the independent variable, or IV, uh, it stands for the cause. And the dependent variable, uh, it always stands for the effect of that cause. Then uh, again, when we talk about the intervening variable, the other factors, intervening means other factors that influence the cause and effect relationship are called the intervening variables. So, uh, experimental or the scientific method, it is considered as the highly uh, reliable method. And it is uh, uh, when we adopt this method, it is we can say that it is highly objective, systematic. The data will be highly reliable. And um, the findings of the experimental method uh, are uh, open to critical evaluation. And uh, main objective, um, um, the points which comes under the experimental or the scientific method. And psychology, we usually use this experimental or scientific method. But uh, as uh, other methods also, it is also time consuming. It is highly it is costly then it is uh, sometimes it is uh, in this experimental method it is difficult to control the causative factors uh, uh, so these are some of the um, demerits of this experimental method just one minute Okay, main uh, uh, the techniques which we use to study personality. Any next is uh, is almost a portion, so almost a long and uh, any doubt regarding this? So uh, another important thing is that when, when you construct a technique hmm, or uh, uh, 
construct a particular questioner or something like that to assess a particular aspect certain things you have to consider you have to keep in your mind that is objectivity of the test that is very important then reliability validity standardization ingente karyangalokka valare important aanu adu ningal padichekkuna karyangal alla ella ഹലോ അത് മറ്റേ റിസർച്ച് മെത്തഡോളജിയിൽ പഠിച്ചിട്ടല്ലേ ഒരു ടെസ്റ്റ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും ഏതൊക്കെ കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ വെക്കേണ്ട സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡൈസേഷൻ റിലയബിലിറ്റി വാലിഡിറ്റി ഓബ്ജക്റ്റിവിറ്റി ഇതെല്ലാം വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് പിന്നെ ഇതാണ് അപ്പെർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ആ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റിയിൽ ടെസ്റ്റ് പറയുമ്പോ ഫസ്റ്റ് പറയേണ്ടത് ക്വസ്റ്റിനർ മെത്താണ് ആണെങ്കിൽ വി ആർ യൂസിങ് ഇ പി ഐ പിന്നെ എം എം പി ഐ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ പി എഫ് ദീസ് ആർ സം എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ ദ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ടെസ്റ്റ് ഏറ്റവും പിന്നെ മേയർ ബ്രിക്സ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഇതൊക്കെയാണ് ഏറ്റവും ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ടെസ്റ്റ് ദെൻ വെൻ യൂഷ്വലി വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി വി യൂസ് സെർട്ടൺ പ്രൊജക്റ്റീവ് ടെക്നിക്സ് പ്രൊജക്റ്റീവ് ടെക്നിക്സിൽ വരുന്നതാണ് ഇപ്പൊ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ എപ്പേർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ദെൻ റോഷ ഇംഗ്ലോ ടെസ്റ്റ് പിന്നെ ഏതൊക്കെയായിരുന്നു സി എ ടി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ എപ്പേർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് പിന്നെ സെന്റൻസ് ഏതാണ് തീമാറ്റിക് അപ്പേർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ടി എ ടി ദെൻ വോട്ട് എൽസ് ഡ്രോയ മാൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഡ്രോയ പേഴ്സൺ ടെസ്റ്റ് ദെൻ സെഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഏതാണ് സീനിയർ അപ്രസെഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിയർ ആയില്ലല്ലോ സാറ്റ് മാം സാറ്റ് സാറ്റിന്റെ ഫുൾ ഫോം എന്താ പറഞ്ഞ സീനിയർ അപ്രസെഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് സീനിയർ അപ്പേർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടോ എനിക്കറിയില്ല കേട്ടോ അത് ടി എ ടി ഉണ്ട് ചിൽഡ്രൻ അപ്പേർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് തീമാറ്റിക് അപ്പേർസെപ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് സീനിയർ സീനിയർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് ഞാൻ കേട്ടിട്ടില്ല കേട്ടോ ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഷുവർ അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് യു പ്ലീസ് ചെക്ക് ഇറ്റ് Uh, so these uh, different types of test then uh, roshank blot test that is the most important test uh, the interpretation of that test is very important then uh, draw a person sentence completion ee uh, test galakkeyana ettom important aayittulla test gal mm, then then uh, strengths what are the strengths and weaknesses of a case study that is very important then five factor model do you remember five factor model Uh, yes, okay. uh, then uh, when we talk about the uh, learning theories, extinction and spontaneous recovery, that one question is there in your, in your assignment. Pinne. Uh, Ketel's uh, tray approach theory of personality that I already I mentioned. Uh, then uh, uh, basic uh, concepts of uh, social learning theory uh, um, not all the questions are there with me then the first question in the first section of assignment that is section a uh, 15 ma 14 marks 40 sorry 45 marks first question is discuss the biological and the environmental factors in personality development so uh, when you write the assignment first if you have a question come then first you have to uh, give an introduction regarding the personality because it is a 45 mark question and like 45 mark question now but first you have to give an introduction regarding the personality after that give a definition a few famous definitions of personality then uh, um, give an introduction regarding factors affecting personality in the factors affect you know your paragraph or chair that to go to the after that the main item when we talk about the factors affecting personality biological factors are the uh, what are the biological factors 
when we talk about the biological factors say the kind of heredity where a physical factor physical, physics or body types you can write then endocrine glands play a very important role just like a hormones hormones play an important role in our personality because uh, uh, we can say that over activity or under activity of the glands can cause um, increase or decrease in of hormone mm? uh, it it can result in some personality disorder uh, so endocrine glands uh, then nervous system then when we talk about the environmental factors first uh, there are various environmental factors uh, but uh, like a uh, physical environment social environment family environment then cultural environment in a pala environmental factors under so before right, going to the those points you have to give a small introduction regarding uh, environmental factors that is in a uh, four or five sentence after that you go uh, each point go to each point uh, then then honey social foundation of personality almost a core alarm in depth to put a link in a matter of shame and lemon no to 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 put on the നിപ്പൊന്ന് നോക്കിയിട്ട് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചോദിക്കാം ഷെൽഡോൺ സൊമാറ്റോടൈപ്പ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഷെൽഡൻസ് ഷെൽഡൻസ് സൊമാറ്റോടൈപ്പ് ഞാൻ എടുത്തതല്ലേ ഷെൽഡൻ്റെ Ectomorph, endomorph, mesomorph. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, Ma'am, Guilford straight theory, is that important? Guilford straight theory. Straight theory, it's not like Guilford. Guilford straight theory, I'm going to take it. That's not actually. Guilford, you're going to take it from the syllabus. Yes, Guilford. Guilford, you're going to take it from the syllabus. is it there in the syllabus guilford yes it's there in the book book what are points comes under the guilford's uh, trait theory um, basically uh, uh, morphological physiological uh. needs interest attitudes uh, somatic traits something like that so the morphological uh, in the sense what all things are com uh, coming under that അതിപ്പോ മറ്റത് ഞാൻ എടുത്തില്ലേ അതിന്റെ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് കുറച്ച് വ്യത്യാസത്തിലായിരിക്കാം ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ ഐ എം നോട്ട് റിമെമ്പറിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് വോട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി കംസ് അണ്ടർ ഗിൽഫോർഡ് തിയറി ബുക്ക് ഇസ് ദർ നോട്ട് വിത്ത് മീ ജസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ് മീ ചെക്ക് guilford theory uh, this is a material is not there with me uh, so it is a morphological na parayumba egadesham it is something uh, it is something real, uh, related to the physical aspects or the physic of the person adha uh, pendana kodutekkanadu structure of intelligence structure of intelligence theory important uh, structure of intelligence uh, guilford in the ഒരു ബോക്സിലുള്ള ഒരു ഇതാണോ ക്യൂബ്സ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ത്രീ ഡൈമെൻഷണൽ മോഡലിലുള്ള ഒരു ക്യൂബ് ആണോ അത് ഇന്റലിജൻസിന്റെ തിയറി ആണ് അത് ശരിക്കും ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ തിയറി ഓഫ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ബൈ ഗിൽഫോർഡ് അതൊന്ന് നോക്കിക്കൊന്ന് എന്താണെന്ന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞുതരാം അത് ഇന്റലിജൻസിന്റെ തന്നെയാണോ ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് ഒന്ന് നോക്ക് one minute
ആ ഓക്കെ ആ പറഞ്ഞോളു ഏതാണ് ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ അല്ലേ പറഞ്ഞത് ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ ആക്ച്വലി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് തിയറി അല്ലേ ആ ഒരു ക്യൂബിന്റെ ഇതിട്ടിട്ടുള്ളതാണോ പറയണത് അല്ല മാം സെവൻ ട്രേഡ്സ് വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് വോട്ട് ആർ ദ സെവൻ ട്രേഡ്സ് ഫിസിയോളജിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് മോർഫോളജിക്കൽ ട്രേഡ്സ് നീഡ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ആപ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ടെമ്പർമെന്റ് ആപ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ടെമ്പർമെന്റ് ഐ ആം നോട്ട് ഷുവർ അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് വായിച്ചു നോക്കിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാകണ്ടോ എന്ന് നോക്ക് വി ദാറ്റ് മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദ വിത്ത് മീ ഗിൽഫോർട്ടിന്റെ ദർ ഇസ് വൺ തിയറി ഓഫ് തിയറി ഓഫ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ബൈ ഗിൽഫോർട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾ ദ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓഫ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ഇന്റലക്ട് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഐ ഡോ നോ വി ജസ്റ്റ് ഗോ ത്രൂ ഇറ്റ് ഓക്കെ യു കെൻ ഷെയർ ഇറ്റ് Thirty-one. Thirty-one. But the material is not there with me right now. I am not going to be able to do anything. I am going to be able to do anything. Right now the material is not there with me. Okay. ഇത്രയും ഇത് ഇത് നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് അത് വായിച്ചാൽ മനസ്സിലാകുമായിരിക്കാം നീഡ് ഒക്കെ അല്ലേ പറഞ്ഞത് നീഡ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് പിന്നെന്താണ് പറഞ്ഞത് അതൊക്കെയാണ് ഓക്കെ റൈറ്റ് നൗ യു ഗോ ത്രൂ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് എനി ഡൗട്ട് കംസ് യു പ്ലീസ് ആസ് മീ നോട്ട് നൗ ഐ ലാൻഡ് ഓർ ഐ വിൽ ഗീവ് യു ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ലേറ്റർ ലേറ്റർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വീക്ക് ഓർ സംതിങ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് Mm, not through class, I'll give you some notes or something like that. Or slides or... Okay. Pinna, uh, next is about the... Then, uh, 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 elucidate the Maslow's humanistic approach to personality. Humanistic approach, uh, had I gone through that? did i mentioned yes ma'am yes yes ma'am ma'am one word mention cheyavo humanistic approach endana what do you mean by humanistic approach how many uh, it's just like a pyramid structure how many needs are there what, what do you remember that uh, actually five types of five biological needs physiological needs then uh, uh, physio Physi- what is the second love എനിക്കിതിനകത്ത് സ്ലൈഡ് മൂവ് ചെയ്യണില്ല അത് കാരണമാണ് എന്താന്ന് അറിയില്ല അപ്പൊ അത് കാരണം ഇതിനകത്ത് കാണിക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല സേഫ്റ്റി അപ്പൊ ആ സേഫ്റ്റി ആ നീഡ് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാല് പിന്നെ അടുത്ത ലെവലിലേക്ക് പോകുള്ളൂ ആൻഡ് ഓരോ ലെവലിലെ നീഡ് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മാത്രമാണ് പിന്നത്തേല് പിന്നത്തേലേക്ക് കയറി പോകുള്ളൂ ഏറ്റവും ഹയസ്റ്റ് ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നീഡ് ഇസ് ദ സെൽഫ് ആക്ച്വലൈസേഷൻ അപ്പൊ സെൽഫ് ആക്ച്വലൈസേഷൻ തന്നെ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾവേസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു എബ്രഹാം മാസ്ലോ എബ്രഹാം മാസ്ലോടെയാണ് ഈ the hierarchy of needs apo oru need here he gave more importance to the needs of the person apo once a uh, particular stage la need satisfy cheyidu kenja mathrame aduthilekku pole and we can say that only few person reach that the etto top ilulla aa oru level la ethuna only few person reach that level that is self actualization need okay adana uh, hierarchy of needs and ibada needs nana importance kodukkunnathu അപ്പൊ ഇത്രയും ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഒരു വിധമൊക്കെ ഒന്ന് നോക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒന്ന് വായിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മനസ്സിലാകും അത് കുറച്ചും കൂടി ഒരു സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ടെക്സ്റ്റ് വായിച്ചിട്ട് ഇതിനകത്തേക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള എന്തെങ്കിലും സ്റ്റഡി മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് കിട്ടുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് നോക്കിയിട്ട് ഈ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഈ ഇഗ്നോർഡ് സ്റ്റഡി മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി മോർ ക്ലിയർ ടു യു ഓക്കെ സോ ഷാൽ വി വൈൻഡ് അപ്പ് Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh...
Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, all of you. So thank when you, you write the uh, assignment, it should be legible. Hmm? They copy it, copy paste it, uh, and uh, prepare the notes uh, in detailed way so that you can use it for the uh, ex during the exam time also. You can use that uh, same thing. Okay. Ma'am, we submitted our assignments, ma'am. Already submitted. Okay. All of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. Then Most okay. of them. Ah, then it's good. Okay. So thank you, all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma 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 okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma ma all, all dear friends. So all of you yes. uh, make use of the time, study well. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, bye. Hello. Yes. Ma'am, is there any chance to postpone the exam date? Uh, regarding the exam, I don't have any idea, but you have to ask to pray, ma'am. Ma so right now, uh, it is scheduled on which date? No, they didn't schedule any dates. They have told this is maybe in second week of February. Second week of February, because we don't, we can't predict the condition right now. No, every week it is changing. Even the CBSE exam and the university exam all are postponing. They will uh, say one date, and after that the other notification will come. So we can't predict anything. We don't know what will happen in the next month. So the situation is even I'm also hoping for the best yeah. dates. <laughs> the situation is like that, no? Now the <laughs> the corona it got mutated, strained. <laughs> so we don't know what will happen next week. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. So all of you bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye ma'am.